So recently, Sparkles uploaded this video where he opens shattered web cases and some unexpected wacky stuff happens. And by unexpected stuff, I mean he said some things that made Reddit had a meltdown. So long story short, at the start of this video, Sparkles spends four minutes going through the research that an internet edgelord, we're gonna call him Bob, gave him on the number of shattered web cases left. Basically, because these cases were dropped at a roughly fixed ratio to Lenore skins, it is theoretically possible to get a rough idea of how many shadow web cases ever got dropped. Which would all be fine, except the document uses this really weird methodology I've never seen before to try and figure out that number. And while large parts of it are logically sound, it all appears to revolve around the idea that the maximum number of Gungnirs that can ever exist is 3,500. This is not a good assumption. In fact, there's probably more Gungnirs than that out there already. And it gives a number that is very likely off by several million cases. Now, this would not matter too much, except the document concludes there's only about a million cases left. That kind of difference matters. Now, Sparkles probably didn't scrutinize this document too much. In fact, I'm certain he didn't. From his perspective, it probably just looked like some cool sounding content to add to his video. So why not go for it? And the price of the Shadow Web case also went for it, after his video came out, it went for it very, very quickly, but the result has also been a considerable amount of backlash, especially on Reddit, where he managed to rack up a ton of threads because one isn't enough. Most of them super critical of what he did. Notably, a lot of people seem to think Sparkles was deliberately trying to manipulate the Shadow Web case so he could make a profit. Sure, there's no actual evidence of malintent or an attempt to profit off this, but you don't need evidence on Reddit. What you need to do instead is shout things like alt accounts or claim that he owns 10% of all Shadow Web cases in existence, apparently, which would be like 100,000. That's so f dumb. Anyway, I have a slightly different take here. Sparkles is a dude who lives in a private gaming mansion who's made more money from his channel than the average person in a developed Western country is ever gonna make in their lifetime. And when you make, you know, six figure sums from a video, you're not gonna waste your time making five grand pumping shattered web cases. It might make sense as a profit making strategy to the average Redditor, but to someone in Sparkles position, it's stupid and it's hilarious to think he'd waste his time even trying it. Not that this has stopped people from calling for him to be trade banned or dead. However, there were people who tried a slightly more methodical attempt to rebut this stuff, including one person who basically wrote a thesis. And while it's not 100% perfect, his overall methodology is pretty solid and it gives a range of 2 to 10 million cases remaining with the middle of the range looking most likely. I tried my own back of the envelope calculations, not just with the Gungnir, but also the Wild Lotus and the Prince, and I got very similar numbers. Interestingly, the other two skins gave me higher results. This in turn has led to a lot of people suggesting Sparkles was maliciously used by the original source of the document, the aforementioned Bob. Now, there are reasons to question Bob's motives. He's publicly invested in 10,000 shadow web cases, and he also makes a bunch of hyperbolic statements about the future of the case, kind of like he's trying to hype them up. Now, I've got no way of knowing whether he's cashed out his cases in this environment or not, but if he is trying to profit out of this whole price spike, I would say that it's a pretty shitty thing to do. However, I don't really think Sparkles deserves the hate here. Don't get me wrong, I would have raised some red flags with him if he'd asked for my thoughts, but obviously, once again, this is not financial advice. Don't take my word on any of this and don't blame me if it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. Like the market is quite a delicate thing and any move from Valve can really change this in one instant. They could decide to add it back into the game and just start making a drop again if they want it. Everyone's plans would go up in flame. And also, ultimately, all he's done here is presented some information that's kinda inaccurate. Every YouTuber gets stuff wrong sometimes. It's not a huge deal. Particularly given the Shadow Web cases are not some rug pull scheme either. This isn't some Jake Tran dodgy advertiser shit. In fact, they're still a reasonably good investment, even if I don't think they're anything special. There's been people commenting that the hate won't age well, and I, I do agree with that. I don't think the document Sparkle showed was great, but the only people getting hurt here are the panic buyers. And if you did panic buy, that's kind of on you. 